Log in to the Singulator software as an admin or basic user, or use your personalized user ID and password. Select Run a Protocol. Select the option for Nuclei Isolations. Select the All Protocols tab to view all of the available protocols or select from Favorites or Recently Run. Select the desired protocol and then select Next to proceed with a run or modify to make changes to the default run parameters. When the system has reached temperature, open the door in the front of the singulator. Lift the red knob to release the sample stage and slide the stage out of the singulator. Place a pre-cooled sample cartridge on the sample stage in the proper orientation so it sits flat on the stage. Rotate the cartridge lock to secure the cartridge in place. Remove the sample disruption cap from a cartridge. Place the sample at the bottom of the disruption chamber and replace the disruption cap. Insert the cartridge into the instrument by pushing the stage from behind. It's important not to hold on to the red knob during this step. You should hear the red knob click into place when the cartridge is fully inserted. Close the door. The singulator is equipped with an internal camera that allows you to view the sample dissociations in real time. These videos are archived on the singulator and available for downloading under the admin user section of the software. The singulator software will provide a notification when a run is complete. Open the door, lift the red knob to release the stage, and slide the stage out of the instrument. Turn the rear cartridge lock to release the cartridge and lift the cartridge off the stage. Place the cartridge on a flat surface. Puncture the foil seal with a 1 milliliter or serological pipette and transfer the nuclei suspension to a 15 milliliters conical tube for centrifugation. The final volume of the suspension will vary depending on the protocol options. A standard isolation protocol will yield 3 to 3.5 milliliters. If you select a protocol that uses the single shot mechanism for loading the nuclei isolation reagents, pull out the red knob on the single shot mechanism and lower the reagent delivery stage. Pull out the blue handle to tilt the tubing chambers toward you. Load 3 milliliters of NIR into a 15 milliliters conical tube. Add 3 milliliters of NSR into a second conical tube. Place the NIR tube into the holder on the single shot mechanism labeled enzyme and the NSR tube in the holder on the single shot mechanism labeled buffer. Close the blue handle so the tubes are vertical and slide the stage up by holding onto the blue handle until the red knob clicks into place. If the single shot mechanism was used to deliver the nuclei isolation reagents, the 15 milliliter conical tubes must be removed at the end of a run. Pull out the red knob on the single shot mechanism and lower the reagent delivery stage. Pull out the blue handle to tilt the reagent tubes toward you. Remove the 15 milliliter conical tubes and dispose of properly. After transferring the nuclei suspension to a conical tube, centrifuge the tube for 5 minutes at 500 G and 4 degrees, or at a speed appropriate for your particular tissue. After centrifugation, carefully remove the supernatant without disturbing your pellet. Add 1 milliliter of NSR or alternate buffer and gently resuspend the pellet. For small samples with lower yields of nuclei, resuspension in 250 or 500 microliters may be helpful. RNase inhibitor should also be added to your sample at this point at the appropriate concentration the resuspension volume used. Automated cell counters can be used to quantitate the yield of nuclei. Refer to your user manual for details on the operation of your specific cell counter. For use of Tripan Blue, Mix 20 microliters of tripan blue and 20 microliters of sample.
Then add 10 microliters to each side of an analysis slide for counting. Adjust the analysis parameters to count objects greater than 4 microns. You may also need to adjust the relative gain of different fluorescence channels on a fluorescence counter to avoid artificially high viable cell counts from fluorescence signal bleed between channels. This completes the process for using the singulator. Additional steps may be needed to further purify the cell suspension for your applications.